God says, go and possess it. It's yours. Warriors, welcome back to Inspirational Cafe. I'm your girl, Rochelle. Here is where I uplift, I encourage, and I inspire. Don't forget, hit that like button. Don't forget to share and come on over to the cafe where I inspire every single day. God says, go and possess it. It's yours. Life would be so wonderful if when we became Christians, everything was easier. That would be awesome. It would be great if we gain knowledge of every scripture that pertained to the crisis that we would endure. And if we had a fearless desire over every trouble and trial that we faced, that would be magnificent. But life isn't that simple. And God doesn't relate to us in that manner. God declares in his scripture, he says, I have given you a free gift of salvation, but it's only in that gift that you work out your salvation through fear and trembling. God says through fear and trembling, you must work out your salvation. Faith and work works together and you must have both. Faith without work is what? It's dead. Remember, when God brought the Israelites to the promised land, he promised them, he says, it's yours. I give this to you. He says, it's yours, but you must possess it. The Israelites thought that it was the perfect gift. They thought it was extraordinary until they realized that they had to possess it. They had to work for it. God didn't just hand it over to them. He says, yes, it's yours, but you must work. You must possess. You must fight. They thought the gift was great until they realized that there will be battles against cities and giants. They had a second thought after realizing that there will be many battles up against cities and giants. But God had already given them a strategy. God gave them a strategy to possess the land. And he also empowered, he empowered their soldiers for the fight. So he equipped them with everything that they needed. But God says, you must possess it. You must fight for it. It's yours, but possess it. Work and fight. Ideally, they thought, that once they entered the city, that the land would be formed, the houses would be built. But God says, no, you must possess it. You must fight for it. Let me just drop this nugget. God never gives us a handout. He'll give us a hand up, but God isn't giving us a handout. And that pertains to many of us. We know God has called us to purpose. God has told us many times to go possess what's ours. He's not going to give it to us. He's not just going to drop it in our laps. But what we need to do is possess it. God says, possess it. It's yours. It's already yours. But you must fight for it. You must work for it. You must go and possess it. God has given you the strategy. He's equipped you. He's empowered you. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to possess it? God says, go. It's yours, but go possess it. I just want to encourage someone right now. You know God has spoken to you several times about your purpose, about the great plans about your goals and your dreams, your hopes and aspirations. But God isn't just going to give it to you. God doesn't give out handouts. He gives you a hand up. But you must go 
and possess it. It's already yours. It's yours. But go and possess it. The scripture declares in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, it tells us God didn't give us the spirit of fear. Oftentimes we're fearful, but God didn't give us that spirit. He's given us a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Now you must go and possess it. Go possess it. Fight for it. You have to be like Sophia, baby. All my life, I had to fight. Be like Sophia. All my life, I had to fight. But you must stay consistent, dedicated, determined in the fight. Because it's already yours. Just as the Israelites, God promised them that he would give them. He would give them the land of great, of extraordinary. He gave them a great gift, but he declared, you must work for it, you must fight for it, you must possess it, you must build. Because God doesn't give out handouts, but God gives us a hand up. He gives us strategies. He empowers us. He equips us for the fight, for the journey for what's ahead. And I just want to let someone know right now, if you're expecting a handout, that's not what you're gonna receive. But what you will receive is strategy. God will empower you. He will speak to you, declare it over your life. But you must fight for it, work for it, Possess it because it's yours. God already made you a promise. He declared it's yours. It's yours for the taking. But only if you work for it, you must possess it. I just want to encourage you to keep going forth. You already know. You already know what God has spoken over your life. But it's only up to you to fight for it. That means that you have to work daily. Put some skin in the game. Move forward. You must continuously trust God in the process. Yes, I know it's hard. It's challenging. Anything worth fighting for is hard. It's difficult. It's challenging. It's uncomfortable. But you have to fight. Be like Sophia all my life. And if that means that you have to fight every single day with every fiber of your being, then so be it. But you must declare, you must be dedicated, you must be committed to fighting for what God already promised you. Because God is indeed a promise keeper. And if he's declared it, that settles it. Fight, go strong, go hard. Don't stop. Keep pushing and pressing. Keep pounding your way. Because God declared in Jeremiah 29 and 11, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a great future. God already declared it. Now you must go. Go fight for it. Go fight for it. Keep fighting. And possess it in Jesus' name. Fight for it because it already belongs to you. I love you all so very much. I am Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.